Having trouble winning games in Madden 23? No! Struggling on offense or defense? Well, the answer might be a simple adjustment that you didn't even know you could make. If you want to see several tips, tricks, and cheats that will give you an advantage in your next Madden game, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to go over several tips, tricks, and cheats on offense, defense, and even functions of the game that most people don't even know you can do in Madden 23. I will start with the smallest and most well-known and work my way back to the ones that no one knows and can also give you the biggest advantages. But before I do, as always, if you guys like the content Woo! and want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. And if you want more helpful tips like this right now and you don't want to wait, you can check out any of my eBooks that come with free tips and strategy guides as well as breakdowns of some of the best offenses and defensive plays in the game. All you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment and you can instantly download any of my ebooks to your phone, computer, or have them sent to the email of your choice. For my first tip, speed is all that matters in Madden 23 and that includes in the menu functions. Most people know that while in gameplay, if you hit the right trigger or the R2 button, it makes the player you're controlling get a burst of speed with the sprint mechanic. But most people don't know that it has the same effect in the menu screens as well. Whether you're in Mutt, choosing a team in regs, or cycling through player management screens and depth charts. Normally you just press up or down on the left stick and this would be the normal pace you would go through the menu options like team rosters. But there is a much faster way to cycle through any of these screens and that is by instead Instead, holding the D-pad in whichever direction you want to go while tapping the right trigger repeatedly and you will notice that you will get a speed boost just like you do if you hit the right trigger in gameplay. Next up, if you play in a CFM or any offline game mode, you might know about the super sim function you can select in the menu screen when you pause the game. This allows you to jump ahead either by play or the jump forward option that lets you choose by change of possession quarter, or even to the end of the game. But did you know you could access this from the gameplay screen below the play select simply by pressing in the left stick? It's ironic that players would rather skip playing this game so often that EA had to put in a shortcut to this function. I mean, no one skips through a fun game that is well made, right? One more function that I used to get a lot of questions about when I made more videos in practice mode was about the respawn ball mechanic. Most people know that if you hit the start button, you can choose to respot the ball from the menu screen and place the ball wherever you want on the field. But most people don't know that a much faster way to do this is by pressing in the left stick and holding the left trigger at the same time. Doing this will bring up the exact same function once again, saving precious seconds off your life. If you guys like practice mode breakdowns, be sure to check out my second channel where I do in-depth breakdowns of some of the best offenses and defenses in Madden 23 that can only be found in my eBooks and on my pay sites. This channel is more tips and gameplay, but if you want to check that out i'll link in the description for that channel as well next up i'm going to go over a function that you shouldn't even need to know how to do and that is because it fixes a glitch that shouldn't even be in the game in the first place if you play madden long enough you'll notice that on offense if you make too many hot route adjustments too fast that it will occasionally result in an input error that sometimes freezes the game not allowing you to hike the ball or do anything until you get a delay a game penalty resulting in a five yard loss before the issue is corrected but did you know that the best way to fix this glitch and not get a penalty is by repeatedly tapping the right trigger or the R2 button to break out of it and it'll let you snap the ball again. Next up, I'm going to go over some pre-snap functions that most people don't know about starting out on offense. If you like to run a lot of no huddle, use the sprint button every play, or just like to run the same type of plays a lot, fatigue will eventually become an issue. So you'll either need good backups or you can just use one of the stamina cheats I'm about to show you. If you ever get into a situation where your players are fatigued, all you have to do to give them a stamina boost is cycle through the formations as fast as possible. You will notice that the player's colors will slowly change a few shades better, restoring some of their stamina for the next play. If you want them at full strength for the next play though, you can also call a timeout or just wait for a stoppage like a two minute warning or a quarter change to fully restore them. So make sure to be aware of the clock. Some people think that this is based on time spent between plays, but this is simply not true. As you can see, my running back is in red and I'm doing nothing for the entire play clock and his color never changes. Next up, most people know that any time throughout the game, you can flip any run or pass play simply by hitting the extra square button, which brings up the audibles menu. Then you just hit the right trigger or the R2 button to flip the play. But most people don't know that if you're in a run play, you can flip the direction of run without flipping the formation simply by hitting the right stick to the left or right. 
Doing this will change only the direction of the running back and no one else, making this a much better option than flipping the entire play as it gives your opponent less time to adjust. Now there are several cheats that can be associated with this adjustment on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. Number one, if you're on defense and you see the quarterback make this reaction where he taps his shoulders, you should immediately know your opponent is in a run play and that is being flipped. This is because the quarterback only makes two different types of animations and this one is always associated with flipping the run. You could run commit when you see this, but remember that your opponent can also use fake audibles. As you can use the flip run function while in a passing play, it just doesn't do anything. And to be honest with you, most players aren't savvy enough when it comes to using fake audibles anyway, as 99% of players don't even think to do that. The only other animation that quarterbacks make is where they turn their heads and yell to either side of the line of scrimmage. This is much harder to identify as this animation is triggered when you change the play, make hot route adjustments, or when you make adjustments to your offensive lines blocking. All of these are passing based changes though that will trigger the same animation. So if you see your opponent's quarterback doing multiple of these, feel free to pass commit and it is most likely a pass, unless the last animation is to change the play back to a run, which would look the same. Knowing this, it is best to hide your adjustments. If you're on offense, you do have one sheet at your disposal that can hide this from someone who is watching for it, and that is you have the ability to make one adjustment your opponent can't see. While your quarterback is walking to the line of scrimmage, that won't trigger an animation. While your quarterback is walking to the line of scrimmage, you can make one adjustment that won't trigger an animation. This is because your quarterback is technically already in an animation, where he looks like he is surveying the defense, and you can't do two animations at the same time. This is an animation that is triggered every time you come out of the huddle as EA thinks it makes the game look more realistic and help to improve the feel and immersion of the game, but it is also meant to slow down the offense and keep you from quick hiking the ball. This function was instituted because in previous Maddens, players realized they could just hike the ball before their opponent could get any defensive adjustments in, giving them a huge advantage. So if you want to flip the run or make one passing adjustment that you don't want your opponent to see, you just have to make sure that you do it before your quarterback gets set and it will hide this one adjustment from your opponent. Another much less common but more well known cheat at this point is the cursor glitch where you can tell whether your opponent is in a run or pass based on what player they are controlling on the field but like I said it doesn't happen very often. Basically if you are in a pass play you can only switch to a skill position player like the quarterback or any of the receivers but if I switch to a run play you can now see that I can also click on to any of the linemen. If you are on defense you can't see the cursor but the lineman's name will be showing letting you know that your opponent has accidentally scrolled over a lineman which is something that you can only do in a run play. In this case, you could run commit unless you see the animation where your quarterback yells to the side, letting you know the audible out of it. Next up, we're going to go over defense cheats. I already put out an entire video just like this dedicated to defense cheats last week. So if you guys missed out, I'll have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop-up shortly at the end of the video. So stick around for that. But for this video, I'm gonna go over the fastest way to make adjustments, starting with the fastest way to change players. If you have been playing Madden for a long time, you might still be using the original function to rotate through the players, which is pressing the B or circle button. This will take you around the entire defense one player at a time. But most people don't know that you can go directly to any player of your choice simply by holding that same B button down and pressing the left stick in any direction of the player that you want to choose, allowing you to skip over any unwanted defenders entirely. So if you need to move guys around and make individual adjustments, this is the fastest way and this function can be used on offense, defense, and special teams. Now if you want to make a defensive adjustment to a player that you don't want to move or use her, there's an even faster way to do that as well with the quick adjustments menu. The defense is divided into groups, defensive line, linebackers, and secondary. To select from the defensive line, you just have to hit the D-pad to the left twice, and it will bring up the player select icons. Once you choose a player, you can then select what you want to do with them. For linebackers, you just have to press the D-pad in the other direction, which is D-pad to the right twice. And for secondary, you have to hit the Y or triangle button twice. Every position and player has a different set of adjustment options that can be made once you select them. Like for example, defensive linemen can't cover the middle third the same way that safeties do, or anything like that, but this is definitely the fastest way to set up your defense pre-snap. My last tip is for players that aren't comfortable playing in coverage. EA realizes a lot of players prefer to play as linemen because they are intimidated or they just don't know how to play in space. But most people don't know is that there is a function in the game aimed at helping beginners learn how to play in coverage called the press or chuck receiver function that can be found in the defensive coverage menu. This is a fairly new function to the game and all you have to do to use it is stand in front of a receiver you want to cover, then press down the left stick and hold the A or X button and you will ride the receiver letting their route guide your defender until you decide to let go, essentially putting training wheels on your user defender. Just make sure that you don't miss or your defender will be way out of position once the play starts. 
So if that's that's the vid. The last tip was one that I first put out in my defensive cheats video that I told you guys about earlier. So if you want to see more tips on defense, it should be popping up on the screen right now. So if you want to see that, just click the link on the screen and I'm sure it'll help out your game. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.